Hello YouTube, it is your boy Atticus, and uh, yeah, today we're playing under our alias name, Detective Alex Murphy, and I'll give you guys a cookie if you could tell me what that reference is. I'll give you a few seconds to guess. Alright, for you who don't know, it is uh, Robocop, it's Robocop's name, so yeah, I figured we'd try an alias. I see you know, everybody else having these cool names, so I figured, you know, better uh, snatch up Detective Alex Murphy while I can, so... We are fighting, um, Norska. Oh, looks like we're fighting Lizardmen, so... I feel like the volume's up way too much, though. Let me turn this down a little bit. Testing, testing, testing. Alright. So, fighting Lizard. We usually do our build with the two shades that you guys know of, but I want to try something a little bit different today. I want to try the Crone. I don't want to try the Crone or Malkiv. I want to try Malkiv. On a chariot. We're gonna change it up. This is a little bit risky. I've not had very uh, good luck playing with chariots. Uh, generally, I get you know sniped or get you know tied down by cav. But since lizards don't have cav for the most part, that are you know that much of a main threat, we're gonna take it. We're also gonna take. We're gonna try a little blade win. I want to try to lend this on some skinks, and we'll keep the rest. One, two. We need to cut a spell here though. Um. I need Soul Stealer. I like this to slow people down. You know, we'll just run at that. We'll go pretty expensive. And we are going to take Destroyer. I do like that. And, you know, I like all these. We'll see if we have enough for all three of those. Um, you know, snip at his uh, potential to um, cast spells. So, for our front line, I want to try some Blackout Corsairs. We're going to try three of those guys. And we are going to take two Spears in the back. Supported by... One, two, three of these guys. We're also going to take the. We're going to go really heavy on our uh, our range potential here. So we're going to take four units of those. Uh, we're going to take a dark rider, and we need something with a little bit more meat in our front line. So we are going to take a black guard. And where are we at? Sixteen hundred. A lot of range, a lot of mobility. I'd kind of like to have a little bit more cav, though. Maybe a manticore would be fun. We could go a Caribbis. Um, da, 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 da. I would like some witch elves to lock down the lords. We'll take a witch elf. We're gonna have him run. Uh, you know, the witch elves run at the black guard to try to tie down any crack guards and stuff like that. And then uh, we don't have much staying power here in the front line. But, you know, we're going to be hitting them with range. We're going to be hitting them with Malakiv. We're going to cut this. Okay, right, that brings us to 1,000. That frees up. And if I cut this one, what does that bring us to? 1,200? Just a little bit short of having... Uh, I'd like to do the Knights of the Ebon Claw, if possible. What could we cut? If we cut Blade Wind, we could take the Sleneshi Harvesters if we do that. Sleneshi Harvesters are really good, as you guys know. <clears throat> Let's do, um, we're at 13, or we could just keep going expensive on the line. Maybe take a Def Hag would be kind of cool. Since we're going really heavy on the infantry, maybe a Def Hag would be smart. We cut those. We take one of those. And we don't have enough for her, uh, caught her in the blood, but he'll probably be expecting and have a lot of, um, what do you call him? Um, you know, the sorest uh, Temple Guard. So, we'll, you know, we'll keep her on foot. And I need this with 497 left. So we are going to do, I guess we could do another spear, maybe a swordsman, maybe we could buff up some units. Yeah, we're going to invest. Since we're going to try some of these Black Orc Corsairs, and they're not generally meant to be a frontline unit, but uh, yeah, I want to kind of see how they do, guys. We're, we're, they don't have shields, so if he has a lot of skirmishers, they will be at a disadvantage that way, but I want to see how they trade with Source Warriors. So, yeah, what do you guys think of this? We have a crap load of ranged armor piercing damage. We have Malkith on a um, chariot, so I'll be, you know, hitting his back lines. Uh, our spell loadout is. Uh, we got Word of Pain. We got things to slow him down. Um, we have a Black Guard and a Sister to deal with a Lord. Yeah, I think this might work, guys. What map are we fighting on? Eshion? So, alright, we'll try it. We will try it. I apologize, I wasn't able to get a video here the last couple days. Um, I went to go start up my motorcycle, and uh, I went and start. And if you want to talk about what will sink a man into a, um, you know, into a dark place, have his motorcycle not start. That's a, that's a little bit of a bummer. 
but I think it's just the battery uh, that's dead. So I have it right now uh, in my apartment charging right outside the window. So hopefully we'll get the bike back up and running. We really need to get it up and running, though. Riding for me is therapy. For any of you, for any of you guys who ride too, you you understand. All right. I got oh, I got a, a 2004 CBR 600RR with uh, two brothers exhaust. It has the exhaust underneath the seat. It's real awesome. I love it. Things, things a lot of fun to play on. You know, it's scary. If you uh, let loose on the throttle too much, a bike will lift up on you. But it's my um, third motorcycle, I think. See, uh, Suzuki Buell. Yeah, my third motorcycle. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and set up the, our little front line here. Put the spears on the flanks. I always put a little space there just to pad our lines. We'll do that, and then the black guard we are gonna keep kind of in the middle with the witch elves right in front of them. And the idea is the witch elves will lock them down, and the black uh, guard will kill them. And we'll put these bad boys right here. Hopefully he doesn't have a lot of skirmishers, but just in case, we're going to keep those guys close. I'm going to put, actually, the diff hag here on the side. Put Malka up right there. And I think that's the force guy, so... Alright, so if he has a lot of skirmishers in the beginning, uh, you know, here in Vanguard, and some of our men are going to take damage, but we should be able to uh, adequately... You know, we're going to space these guys out a little bit, actually. I want to be able to hit them right as soon as we start. So there, put these guys right here. These guys are in the middle to catch any skirmishers. Uh, that, and yeah, alright, so yeah. Oh yeah, these guys right here. Looking at the army size, he went pretty small, which leads me to believe dinos. So if he did go a lot of uh, slow moving dinos, well then our range component will you know deal with them pretty adequately. Um, hopefully everything goes as planned. Ready? <clears throat> Malakif will uh, be getting his charging on. So we have forecast of that. We'll use the uh, chill wind to slow down any skirmishers trying to get away. And yeah, guys, so as long as we protect our repeater crossbows, we'll be okay. For a lizard player, that's really hard to deal with. You know, you can use chameleon skinks and stuff like that to trade with them since they do have a missile resist, but when you have Malakif on a chariot getting into them, not to mention we have a dark rider here with a shield. I believe these guys have silver shields. Uh, excuse me, bronze shields. 35% um, missile resist. And yeah, we're going to test the killing uh, potential of these um, Black War Corsairs. They have an anti-infantry bonus, I believe, of 8. Uh, you can see right here, 40 melee attack, which is pretty good. Weapon strength of 28. Uh, 7. Bonus infantry versus 7. So, a little bit off. But. So, yeah, we've given plenty of time for our opponent now. We're going to go ahead and start here. Alright, so what do we got here? Let's go ahead and start getting a little early damage in. Malkith, we're going to move these guys up here. Get these guys focused here here if he wants to go really uh, turtle that's fine with us this only way he took any missile cap which is really good for us which leaves us a uh, I don't think I have a terrible mistake though I think I've made a terrible mistake no problem oh that hurts But you can see this that you know that killing potential we have with uh, with those repeater crossbows. They're just so good. I have, have you guys focused on here, here, here? Come on, Malco, get your damn spell off. Oh, he does have a range component, so we're gonna back up. We're gonna send these guys on the side here to deal with them. Get out of there. Yeah, now that we've done that, we're gonna. All right, so. We're going to back these guys up, and I'm going to send 
them to deal with him. We're going to back him up. We're going to send our forces into attack here. He wants to attack me, so we're going to get the Witch Elves to lock him down. And, hey, you know what? We're going to get a Word of Pain on him, so watch this. Word of Pain. Get locked down with the Witch Elves. Malkiv comes in. We'll bust that right there. We're going to flank these guys around the sides. And we should have him locked down, I do believe. Nope, he did get away, unfortunately, so that's fine. We have some Soros Warriors of Shields. These guys are just too good at, you know, Witch Elves. We need the Witch Elves to, uh... We're going to slow these guys down, though. Yes, this is what we're waiting for. For him to make a mistake, and... Come on, Witch Elves. As for our other main fight here, we're going to get these guys into position there. And yeah, guys, this is going... By the book, so we're gonna slow, we're gonna cast this, where can we cast this at? Right here. Get a little early damage. And alright, yeah, we got him. So we'll just escort him off with the Ravens. And then we'll use our range component just to uh, finish up these guys. So we're gonna send the Black Guard in to deal with them. And we're gonna keep charging with old Malakith. We'll have you guys escort him off too. We don't want him coming back. And let's get early. So we're taking. What are we doing over here? Let's get out of here. We need to kill the skinks. And let's do word of pain on the croc scars. Ooh, that was nice. Okay, you guys focusing them. We've broken that front line, so we'll come in and attack here. Yeah, guys, and this is pretty, pretty by the book. We're going to hit them right here, slow these guys down. And let's make sure we've escorted Malkif off here. Alright, so Malkif is dead. We'll come in now and focus the rest of his leadership. He is hitting us pretty hard with that, uh, with those spells, though. So, what do we got here? Witch Elves. Have you guys get into the infantry fight. Have you guys escort them off? Have you keep attacking there? And yeah, we're gonna cast this on here. We'll do this just for shits and giggles. Boom! And we'll get another one of these here. And we're gonna get Malkif right into the honey pot. So yeah, you guys get to see the, uh, you know, the the killing potential with the repeater crossbows. They're just so good. And that should wrap this one up. Oh, he does have a little little force there. So we're going to send the Dark Riders in to deal with them. And now we'll just keep focusing. His Lord, where's my Ravens at? Where's Malakif at? We'll have Malakif come in and hit these guys. Have you guys lock him down right there. Looks like we do have some of those guys back here. So we're going to send our range component to deal with them before they come back. All right, yeah, this should be game, guys. I don't see how he could uh, make a comeback here. Where's Malkif at? There we go. Nice little charge into there. And that should be game, guys. So good game to my opponent. We'll go ahead and look at the end screen here. This build was uh, worked pretty good. So, uh, yeah, looking at the end screen here, guys, Malkif on a chariot actually performed good for once. So, usually I don't have much luck with the chariot, but as you can see, it worked pretty good. Um, the, uh, the Corsairs did really good, surprisingly. I mean, they're not meant to hold, but in, if they're not getting hit by ranged and they're just trading with infantry, they did pretty good. You know, they, I dare say they actually outperformed the um, Saurus with shields. Uh, Witch Elves, you know, I didn't catch, uh, you know, Croc Guard like I wanted to, but in theory, the uh, strategy is sound. Black Guard, always MVP. But yeah, guys, the real, you know, stars of this match was the, uh, you know, my range component. It's one of Dark Elves' strongest um, attributes, one of their, you know, greatest strengths, is the fact that they have so, much, so many armor-piercing missiles. So uh, when you fight Lizardmen, in my experience, guys, either if you're doing the Shades build that I've shown, or if you're doing this one, like, 
This is one of the easiest or most reliable ways of beating the Lizardmen. You know, use your range advantage. Don't trade with their range because their chameleons have like a 30 or 40% missile resist. So, so dance around them, you know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, the more you guys see me use the Ravens, the more you're going to see that I, I just think they're really good. You know, they uh, they definitely have a matchup on Chaos, Lizardmen, Norska. You know, so many matches where these guys will just perform really good. And, uh, yeah, the Witch Elf. Uh, you know, keep in mind she has that uh, debuff around her, like minus what is it, nine melee attack or five melee attack. So that comes in handy. You know, chips chips down at these guys when they only have like what twenty eight. So you you know, hit that by five, they're they're in the low twenties. So, all right, guys. So yeah, that was a, a quick one for you. I actually had some really cool replays. I'm going to be uploading. I have one that was a dark elf versus Bretonia that was super close. And then earlier I fought uh, Hooser General, which is a really top uh, one hundred player. Um, he played Bretonia as well, which is my weakest matchup, and I was actually the Wood Elves, and uh, it was a really hard fight, guys, but I beat him. I was really excited about it, and the replay is just really cool. I brought Dirt through, and um, we had the uh, Fire Bark Ken, and it, it, was, it was really neat. I can't wait to upload these games, guys, so, uh, you know, I'll get to it. The big problem for me is it takes like two hours or something to upload these games, you know, these videos, and I like to play, so I can't really play while I'm uploading, so I'll, I'll get them up to you guys. So this is Atticus, and I'll see you next time.